Hi, Storyteller Magama here. In this video, I'm going to share with you a folk tale on friendships. We all have different kinds of friends, don't we? Think of all those friends who come into your life. There are those friendships that exist because you both enjoy each other's company. A friendship based on mutual trust respect and admiration that is the kind of friendship you want to hold on to for a lifetime then there are those friends who come into your life for a reason you are useful to them in some way huh it could be financial benefit it could be your drinking buddies Oh, it could even be those kind of friends from Insta, from Facebook. The kind of friends who, to be really honest, you don't know very well. Then, there are those kind of friends who come into your life for a short space of time. They come with a big bang. I like to think of these friends as friends for a season. You can literally put an expiry date on these friends. Like the expiry date you find on supermarket products. These friends are out there to use you. They want to get as much as they can out of you in the short space of time they are in your life. I'm sure you have had experiences with this kind and it would be great if you could share some of those experiences in the comment section of this video. Right, let me share this folk tale on friends, friendships, friends. Frog and mouse were friends. Their friendship was borderline between friends for a reason or friends for a season. In Frog's eyes, the friendship was more and more tending to be one-sided because it was always Frog who visited, who traveled from his pond, which was his house, to Mouse's barrow, which was Mouse's house. Mouse never visited Frog's house. Why do you never visit my house? Tell me, why? Frog asked. I can't. You don't understand. I can't. Mouse replied. But why? Frog insisted. And Mouse still never further elaborated. And as days grew by, Frog became bitter and bitter with Mouse because Mouse remained reluctant to visit Frog. One day, Frog snuck around Mouse's house. He had a piece of strong string with him. He tied one end of that string to Mouse's leg and the other end of the string he tied it to his own leg and he said, Today, you are coming to my house, whether you like it or not. And Mouse, and Frog, I mean, hopped away, dragging Mouse with him. And as they approached the pond, Mouse was in panic. He tried to untie himself and free himself, but couldn't. Just just then, Frog dived into the pond and as Mouse cried, Please stop! Please stop! I can't swim! It was too late. He was already in the water, struggling for dear life. Just then, a hawk that was circling above saw the struggling mouse in the pond and decided to pick him up for dinner. And the hawk dived and swooped 
And just as he was about to grab the mouse, Frog saw what was about to happen. In frantic effort, he tried hard to untie that string that was that he had tied to his own leg, but it was too late. The hawk grabbed the mouse and flew to the nearest tree. And of course, he howled Frog out of the water and up that tree. Frog struggled and struggled to free himself. And soon, the hawk put an end to frog struggles. The moral of the story, choose your friends wisely. I would rather be picky than pick wrong friends. Have a nice day. And please don't forget to subscribe so that we continue sharing these wonderful tales. Thank you.